Hi, hello, good day. <laughs> Do I say good day? I think I could say good day. How are you all doing? I hope you're all fine and happy and having fun and living life, staying alive. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> My name is Jennifer and this is Fair Class. Perk Class very much welcomes you to another learning session and uh, you're welcome. So we're still in our August Rico Global Business Test 3 on the 24th edition and we have been successfully been uh, we have been successfully concurrent yeah been concurrently successful and that is all thanks to you guys who are viewing us and um yeah who oh well, yeah you guys making us feel like we are doing something positive, you know? Yeah. So I fine. So I'm Jennifer again. I don't, I don't know if I said it earlier. Yeah, I'm Jennifer. I don't know if I look like Jennifer, but I'm Jennifer. Let's make a new so I'm Jennifer. And you're welcome to the class again. The second time I'm saying I know. <laughs> okay. So before we get on to this learning session, what we actually have to do today, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yes, I don't ever forget to say that. I don't ever forget to say that. So forget to not subscribe to our channel. Yes, forget to not subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to our channel so that you get access to learn life for the best of practice students. And um, we get educational materials, tips, Everything, 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 education, yes. everything that's going to make you stand out as an A class student, an, an A plus, A plus, right? A first class, A plus student in your subjects. Mm -hmm. Too good to be true, right? But it's true. I know it's too good to be true. Okay, for a second. You can prove it's true. So, uh, Thank you as a subscribe and um, like and comment. Yes, like and comment. So while you subscribe to our channel, please don't forget to like. Let's know that you hook us. Let's know that you appreciate what we do. And um, yes, motivate us. So please be our motivators and like our channel. Comment, let's know what you think, let's know what you think about purpose, let's know areas that we need to um we need to enhance, yes, areas of, for enhancement. And um, let's know what your educational concerns are. Let purpose know you. Yes, let us know you. Okay, so you can now also download the purpose app available at the Google Play Store and at the App Store. So you can download it on your iOS and your Android. It's pretty right here. Yeah, I mean, I haven't stuck to my like, well, to right here. I mean, look at the background, you know, green and white. I haven't stuck to my What do you think? It's pretty right. <laughs> Don't worry, the app is surely going to beautify your phone. I'm not patron. I'm not asking to patronize me. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, please don't forget to download the Perkless app. All right, our 16th question. Oh, yeah, we're still on um, the general term, remember? So, A, college, B, institution, C, university, D, school, and E, academy. The mentioned organizations, the mentioned options are all established organizations. Dedicated to education, public service, or training in which special arts or fields of study are taught. So they're all generally known as institution. Yes, institution. So called them institution because they are established organizations dedicated to education, public service, or training in which special arts or fields of study are taught. So, that option B, institution. Take, for example, your school is an institution. Yeah, wherever you school, that is an institution. 
Okay, or we'll be learning with them as an institution. All right, our 17th question. Okay. Hmm. Another section. So our section C says in each of numbers 17 to 21, you are given a sentence, read it carefully and decide how true it is. A, if it is always true. B, if it is often true, but not always true. C, if it, if it is never true. D, if it is impossible to see how true it is. Okay, so for example, pi is hot. Yeah, it's always true, right? Pi is always hot. It is never cold. It's always hot. It's burning hot. Okay, so our, we have another word, sample, adults are told in children. The answer is B, because although it is often true, it is not always true. Yes, adults are often told in children, but not all the time. We have adults who are not, um, well, who are, the, you know, who are kind of midgety, right? Midgety kind of adult. So uh, that's short. So who still have children told them then. So it is not always true. All right, so having um, gone through an example, I'm sure we can be able to do this on our own, right? Okay, so our 17th question. There are seven days in a week. A, it is always true. B, it is often true, but not always true. C, it is never true. And D, it is impossible to say how true it is. Okay, so seven days in a week is always true because it is a fixed phenomenon which can never be changed from what it is. I mean, there's seven days in a week, it's always been like that since you were like born, right? We come to the world and we met it that way that there are Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays in the week. So, yeah, that is it. The answer is always true. There is always going to be seven days in a week. And we have an option A, always true. Our 18th question. Chocol, chocol is obtained from wool. Yes, chocol, is it, is chocol, is it chocol? No, it's chocol, right? I can't be, yeah, it's chocol. So chocol is obtained from wool. A, it is always true. B, it is often true, but not always true. C, it is never true, and D, it is impossible to say how true it is. Okay, so it should call it... <laughs> this sounds funny in my ears. God, is it just me or it sounds funny? Chakol, chakol, chakol. Oh my God, it sounds funny in my ears. Well, whichever way, I don't know, I don't know. Whichever way whatever way it sounds to you, just accept it. Okay, at least you know what I'm saying. Okay, so chocolate is an impure carbon obtained by destroying wood. It's an impure carbon obtained by destroying wood. So when we burn wood, we produce chocolate from burning wood. So the answer is always true. It is always obtained from wood. There is no other means of obtaining chocolate from wood. It is always true. Option A. All right, our 19th question. In a war, red stands for peace while white stands for danger. What do you think? So, it is, is it always true? Is it often true but not always true? It is, is it never true? Or is it impossible to say how true it is? All right, we all know red is a generally accepted color for danger and warning. I mean, I can, re I can remember back in school with my report sheet, oh my God, I dread red virals. <laughs> I dread it. Red virals or red pants in my report sheet, oh my God, it meant you failed, as in you capital failed, you big time failed. So yes, red always has this danger warning, Kind of thing, you know, this negative kind of thing attached to it, right? I don't know if it's just me, right? So here, red is a generally accepted color for danger and warning, while white is usually used to indicate peace and purity. Thus, it is never true that red stands for peace. Red does never stand for peace. No, it always stands for bloodshed. It just never stands for anything bad. I mean, 
it stands for infant band, and we've got an infant band. So red have never, has never stood for peace. Okay, while white stands for danger. No, it's never happened. So it is never true that red stands for peace while white stands for danger. So as we actually see, never true. A 20th question, men are taller than women. A men taller than women? A is always true, B is often true, but not always true. C it is never true, D it is impossible to say how true it is. Okay, so due to differences in genetics and in how people feed and how well people feed, it is really impossible to decide um, how true their both segment is. You know, whether men are taller than women. I mean, I know men, some men are taller than some women, but then some men are taller than some men. So we cannot really say that men are always taller than women or that men are often taller than women. Okay? Although it, there was this ideology about men being men and therefore should be taller than women. But then there are certain instances where we have more taller women than men. So it is really, really, really impossible to decide how true their old statement is because of genetics and how well people feed. Okay? And of course, um, another background too, yes, health, the ground is something about people. So I think this tall thing, the height thing is usually, it's more attributed to genetics. So since our genetics memory, well, hmm, we can't be certain. All right, so we have an option D. It is impossible to say how true it is. Yeah, it is impossible to say how true it is. And with that, we've come to the end of this learning session. I mean, right now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, it's impossible to tell you how much I'm going to miss you. <gasps> Don't you come pretending? <laughs> well, I'm not pretending. I mean it. It's impossible to tell you how much I'm going to miss you guys. But then, no love lost, right? Because we're going to be right back in no time. But until then, Class loves you. Keep studying hard. It is really important that you do. Make Perkless proud. Make Perkless proud. Make Mummy and Daddy proud. These words, it's like, I don't know, a tongue twister. I think I'm going to slow down the pace, right? And how I talk, how, how. How I talk, I think I'm going to slow down. What do you think? I think I talk fast. And maybe that's why I tend to make these, uh, I don't know, this tongue slips, right? That's why my tongue keeps slipping. Okay, but it's all good. Tongue slipping or not, we love you. Study hard. We can't wait to learn with you in soon. Take care.